from Louisville, WDRB News in the Morning starts now. Thank you, Mike. A local company is looking to hire skilled workers for jobs paying as much as $70,000 a year, but finding people to fill those jobs hasn't been easy. WDRB's Valerie Chen explains the new initiative to get people manufacturing jobs so they can replace workers that are at retirement age. Manufacturing is not disappearing like everybody thinks. It's in high demand, but we need more people in here to train is what we're looking for. 20 students here at Elizabethtown Community and Technical College are on their way to becoming machinists. That includes Todd Gossard, who goes to school in the day, then works four 10-hour shifts here at Atlas Machine and Supply in Louisville. He's part of the company's four-year apprenticeship program, which pays about $25,000 for the first year. But the company says by the fourth year of the program, he'll have made about $127,000, which he would not have made if he went to a four-year university. I've learned a whole lot more than what you actually get in school. Just you're exposed to a lot more different projects and you're actually doing things that you will be when you actually get out into the job field. It costs about $10,000 to get a two-year associate's degree in machine tool technology. That includes tuition, books, and supplies. And professors say it really pays off because these students will have no trouble finding a job. Some local companies also help pay for the students' tuition. Others get financial aid. Recognizing the need for skilled workers, the mayors of Louisville and Lexington have formed a new partnership called the Bluegrass Economic Advancement Movement. It's to develop a joint regional business plan supporting the growth of high-quality jobs in manufacturing. Factory. There seems to be a surplus of college graduates right now, and you can buy gas from a college graduate at Thornton's or Speedway for making maybe eight bucks an hour. Yet I have $70,000 a year machinist jobs here that I can't fill. But schools like this are hoping to change that, trying to put more emphasis on manufacturing. And sometimes we want to push everybody through the four year university, yet they may be the best machinist around. Valerie Chin, WDRB News.